Welcome back everybody to Southside Boy Style. I'm here with you again with another video. And unfortunately, it's another break video. So I'm, I'm gonna be installing more rotors and more disc pads. It seems to be one of the main things that I do on this channel is install rotors and pads. Unfortunately, just that's the way it is. I have to have rotors, I have to have pads. So I'm going to be installing them on that 2011 Chevy Equinox and the brakes and rotors that I'm going to install are these bad boys. Uh, yep, I'm putting the big guns on. I'm going to be installing these rotors with the slots, the holes, all of that because I want to try to get some last out of the rotors, which I'm not getting. And then I have carbon ceramic pads going on the car as well. So that's what's going on that car today. So that's the car I'm putting the rotors on, guys. Um, I'm going to get set up and I'll get right back to you guys. So if you guys can see, I have two different sizes of sockets on. And the reason why is because one nut always don't have a housing. So that's why I had the two different sizes. Let's put this in reverse and take it off. And of course, we have a hard one, so I'm going to have to get the power bar. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. So guys, these are, I mean, even though they look great, they look good. The problem is, is I'm getting vibration, heat, friction, as always is warp the rotor. Now, if you look at the pads, if you can see the pads, let me see if I can't get some lightener for you guys. If you look directly in there, you'll see there's lots of pad left in here. But I'm not I don't I don't ever use use pads on a on new rotors because they've been warped into the warp rotor. So Unfortunately, I'm changing them. And I mean, look at the, look at all of the wear I have left. You can see there's a lot of wear left in here yet, but it is what it is and I'm not reusing them. I never do, okay? So I'm gonna go and get some wrenches to get this uh, all on the go. I have to take off actual caliper bracket. So I have to take off the caliper, the caliper bracket, Everything has to come off here. So I'm gonna get set up with the tools. Some kind of, sometimes, guys, you just gotta use a hammer. Put your ratchet on, give it a couple smacks, and it should come free.
There we go. Sometimes I hit it with my hands, but <laughs> hurts the hands, you know? Hurts the hands. And obviously, as always guys, I'm gonna clean the sliders, which I've always said so many times, it's very important that you have to do that. Very, very important. Come on. Got to get a wrench. Got to get a wrench so I can pop it off. I know many of you guys are saying, oh, there's grease on this. Grease on this wrench and it's getting all over me. I know a lot of you guys are saying, yeah, but your pads are good. Well, maybe they are, but for the price of pads and for what you pay for rotors is just as well to put new pads as well. See guys, now, you shouldn't let this one dangle, try to keep it up, so that it's not dangling off the flex line. And these, see these are actually seized right now. And if you guys look back through videos, 2011 Chevy Equinox brakes and rotors, it was only like three months ago I did all this new, but it's just from use, so we had that. Now guys, look at all of the pad that's left on these. They're like new. They're like new. But I am not putting them back on, I'm putting new. Which you guys will see. See, here's the inner pad. Same thing, it's like new. There's barely any wear on that at all. But it is what it is. I'm gonna take these sliders out now because I have to clean them up. I just usually put vice grips on and do it that way. Just be careful you don't pull the rubber out. See, they weren't technically seized. They just need to be cleaned off and re-greased, which is what I always do. This is a brake caliper slider pin. This is what allows the caliper to slide in and out freely off the rotor so that your pads don't stick to the rotor, which in turn causes friction and heat and ruins your rotors very critical to always make sure these are clean and moving freely inside of here when your caliper is on. It has to be moving. And here's the other one. Again, you saw it wasn't really seized. It was just a little bit in there. But again, just a cleanup so it moves, slides in and out free, and it won't be much of a asshole to clean these up and put them back in. A rag is your best friend when you're doing something like this, okay? A rag is your best friend. Okay guys, now I gotta set myself up, and I have to get the proper sockets for the caliper bracket, which is bolted here and here. So guys, in case you're wondering, this bolt is an 18 millimeter on the Chevy Equinox, okay, 2011. It's the same thing I'm going to say because I can only speak for the vehicles I have. I have a 2011, 2013 Chevy Equinox. So between the 11 and the 13, the bolt on the caliber bracket is the same size, which is an 18 millimeter, okay? 
Sometimes they're a little bit tactical. I won't lie to you guys, but sometimes they're a bit tactical to get off and sometimes you got to really give them some smacks. And sometimes you have to use a pipe, which I'm probably gonna have to do now. Using a pipe sometimes is a little bit, so this is a pipe I'm using now to put over the end of the ratchet. And sometimes it's a bit difficult getting it set up, but you only need to crack it and then it'll be fine. As you see, there was my crack. And that one is free. So let's put the pipe on this one down bottom. And let's give this one a crack. All you need to do is just give them a little crack and then they're free to go. Let's continue to take the bracket off. Well, and here's one. Remember, 18 millimeter for those bolts. And there goes the bracket right here. I'm gonna set this up so you guys can watch me clean the actual uh, sliders. Now we'll take off this rotor. And look guys, it's so unfortunate. This rotor is in perfect condition, but here now in Newfoundland, you can't do a resurfacing, which means you can't put it on a machine and resurface it down. You have to buy new rotors and that's unfortunate because this is technically a new rotor and the problem is is this day and age for cheaper rotors metals are just not the same anymore and they don't last as long so that's why guys i'm putting this on I don't want to have to change these in the winter time, okay? And here we are now in mid-November, and I don't want to be out in a scratch freezing, changing these rotors, so I'm putting these bad boys on. And as you can see, guys, I hope that's gonna take care of me for the winter so I don't have to be out here freezing myself freezing fur, okay? So guys, I'm gonna clean all this up, wipe off all the, all the old access grease. Now, I don't have to get sandpaper or nothing for these because these are in really good condition anyway. So this is just a re-grease and an insert back in. You know, guys, as I'm here putting grease on this, I'm gonna tell you, this is my Sunday afternoon. I don't get a break. I have to be working on these cars and getting videos out for you guys. See, that's the things I do for you guys. And as I always say, if there's something I can do to make it easier for you guys to do a job with or anything, I always do it. And I always, always, I stress about sliders because it's the most important thing on the brake job. Look at that, guys. Look how free that is. You see that? 
that's what the caliper is sitting on, or these two sides. It has to be free. As you can see, we're good and free. And as I said to you guys, I'm hoping this is going to carry me through all winter so I don't have to change these again. Put the grease on any which way you want. There's no specific order. Just get the grease on there. And that'll suffice good. Now, I don't ever recommend, recommend eating it, okay? <laughs> see guys, look. Look at that. You see how free this is all moving now? That is what you want. That is 100% what you want in your brakes. Those to be 100% free. Okay guys, let's use my door hinge and my C-clamps and get that piston pushed back in this caliper. And guys, laugh all you want, I always, always use the same door hinge every time because while I don't want to hurt the piston, I'm just pushing it back in. I don't want to hurt anything. Okay, we're gonna lay that up there. Remember guys, don't let this flex line dangle, okay? Because if you do, you could stress the line and break the line and well, we don't want that. Okay, so let's get that bracket and we're gonna put the bracket back on. Sometimes you got to fish around to get the bolt in and start it on the bracket and sometimes it goes easy, sometimes it's a little bit difficult. Here today, for some reason it went easy. Now we got to put the bottom bracket in, bottom, sorry, bottom bolt in. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but there we go. I always like to bolt it in as good as I can with my hands first before I put the ratchet on. Now we'll get the ratchet. Now we'll tighten this up. Guys, I know I'm spending a little bit more here on these rotors and pads, but trust me, I'm in Newfoundland a little town on the open bay and I don't want to be out here when it's freezing, freezing cold. So I'm open. This is going to get me through all winter. Hopefully. Hopefully this will get me through. Always make sure that these bolts are on good. Okay. Now we have to put the new clips here for the new pads, which are these ones. 
and these are carbon fiber ceramic. That's what these pads are. And I'm not saying no names of no company names because, well, I'm not sponsored by anybody, so why put the name? If somebody wants to sponsor me, go right ahead and I will put their name on it. Sometimes you may have to ground down, grind down these corners right here. Uh, sometimes you have to do that. We'll see. We'll see what happens here. But usually the more expensive ones, usually they fit nicely, which as you can see, they do. And we'll put the inner one in. There we go. We'll take our caliper, which we already pushed the, pushed the piston back, push the pins in, and let them sit in place. There we go. And we'll get our bolts. Our caliper bolts. I don't usually tighten up the first one all the way until I get the other one tight and then I tighten them all up. And there you have it guys. That's one side done. So as I said, guys, we have our new rotors. We have our new pads in right here. Everything is on. Looks pretty good. And I hope, I hope I have no more trouble with that all winter. Why is it focusing on my finger? Focus on the rotor. Do it now. Thank you, camera. Thank you. So guys, I'm not gonna bore you with the other side. I never do. I always show you guys one side. I'm gonna do the exact same thing with the other side. And then after it's all done, we'll take it for a drive like we always do and we'll check everything out and make sure it all runs good. Now, here's the next thing. Don't forget to give me a like over here and a subscribe over right here. And guys, as always, check out my merch, okay? Down there, just press more and you'll see everything is there. Or actually, it might even be sliding up under your window if you're watching this video on your computer. You won't see that as you're watching it on your TV, but you will see it if you're looking at it on your cell phone, okay? And I appreciate each and every one of you. And guys, the channel is growing every day. Every day, the channel is getting bigger and bigger. Subscriber counts going up. Views are up, hours are up, and that's all because of you guys, okay? All because of you guys. And I very much so appreciate all that. This mic right here is soon gonna die. I'll see you when we're ready to go for a drive and test it out. Thanks guys. See you on the next one. Southside Boy Style is out. <laughs>